Hi everyone and welcome back to the Mad Rat House. Sorry for the hiatus last week. It was half term and half term means husband and child time. Um, we had lots of fun. We went swimming and played in the park with footballs and got completely muddy. We went down to Wales to um, my godson's birthday party and then swimming again. That, that was our week. Swimming playing in the park in the mud and traveling. Hi Dorothy! Hi Kimberly! So as ever this is a live stream with semi-live people. I'm one of the semi-live peoples. <laughs> um, so I'm not, well I can't guarantee that I'm not talking to myself. Might be, might not be. But there are people here conversing with me. So first off I'm going to, I do have a hall, a mini hall mini 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 haul. I'm talking like I'm on um, clockwork because I do have a rather large cup of um, coke here, coca-cola Jess, real red coca-cola today. Not Pepsi, not imitation. And it, um, yeah, it sets me off. It gives me energy to do the stream, so good, right? So yeah, I'm going to first of all, before I do the haul, show you, I've been in the last stream, I think, my mouse guard came, or maybe it was a stream before that. But anyway, I finally started him, finally started it, working in him. So I'm going to show you what I've got. It was a fun week, Daz. Fun, but tiring. <laughs> Four-year-olds have boundless energy, and Emma's don't. So yeah, I was explaining earlier that I've had to mend it a little bit. It's got, well, I've decorated it, not but it's like a mending purpose rather than decorative because um, Alfie is in love with this book he calls it the cheeky mouse book he's always flipping through in fact I'm going to buy him the actual coloured one too once I find it maybe for Easter um, one of the actual graphic comic books um, he calls it the cheeky mouse book and he loves all the escapades of the mouse and looking in there um, house and but anyway he was doing it and he, it tore slightly just here on these two pages so no problem we'll decorate it so that's what we did and I've coloured we've got a problem with the light we've got Storm Doris raging outside the window so I apologise for any noise um, but it keeps going light and dark so I've done that that's actually silver and grey and blue this is all prisma so far well the colouring pencil is anyway I thought I'll start at the beginning for this book. I usually jump around, and um, but this one I'm being good. I'll start at the beginning. Ice green tea. Oh, yum. Love green tea. And then I did that one. And that's like gold and a maroony colour. And oh, I'm not even on camera. That's the theme of this show, by the way. Not even on camera show. I don't want to keep zooming in and out because it makes you dizzy. So I'll move the stuff. So yeah, we did that one. And then this is in here because you see this is absolutely filthy. The I find in that the inks and the pencil, when you work on the back, transfer. So I've had to get a piece of card to keep in between. So yeah, and then I did him. And there's Cheeky Mouse. This is his name, by the way. He's called Cheeky Mouse. This is the Cheeky Mouse book. According to Alfie. I'm not sure what their names are in real life, even if they have names. Does anybody know? But yeah, this is the Cheeky Mouse. And it was a background of watercolour. They were Windsor and Newton Cotman, I think, for this one. And then a, um, I can probably zoom that in with the camera a little bit. Now it's smaller. There you go. Um, and then Prismas on the top, all Prisma. And that's the gold. It's got a bit of a shimmer. And I'm very, very tempted because I put the gold on here and, and here. I think gold suits this book for some reason. This book to me shouts gold. So I'm thinking if I need to find a decent gold gel pen though and adding an extra gold box around there and having a gold accent on every page. I am Suzanne. I'm going to get him and me <laughs> one of the books, yeah, or maybe multiple books. Um, but yeah, because he loves it absolutely loves it he's usually not interested in, overly interested in my colouring books because I won't let him colour in them I do let him in some of them but imagine Morphe and things and that they're my colouring books not for him 
so yeah there's melty that's prisma and then last night while i was watching z i just started this one and this is just washes using um what are they called watercolor pastels they're not um neo twos because i don't have neo twos um but these are a cheaper imperia thing and they work in the same sort of way these are just a fiver from Hobbycraft. so yeah just taking with my water brush off the tip and i like the i like to block the colors in but i like it to be light so that i can then work on top of it easier so um that turned out a bit pink i wanted that a dusty pink so when i go over top with pestle pestles pencils it will be more of a dusty pink i have no idea what color she's going to be miss mouse so my idea is to color everything in around her all the backgrounds and everything and then um choose what color she'll be at the end we're going to have some silver in there for the ladle and like I say, everything's going to have an accent of gold. So, oh, this is going to be lots of earthy tones, obviously, because she's a mouse and she lives in a wooden house and, and what have you. But I think for there's a little handle here, so I think that's going to be gold, just like the odd accent of gold there. Maybe a tiny hint of gold in other places. Keep it a bit of gold on every page is what I've decided I will do. Then like that page, he can have gold on his... What do you call it? Armour. So yeah, that's as far as I've got in my mousy book. But I just thought, as Daz mentioned, uh, Prismas. I'd show you what I've been doing with my Prismas so far. There we go. There's mousy book. Cheeky mouse book, sorry. Okay, so Poundland. I went into Poundland last week when I had my hair done. Um, the one in my aunt's town which is like 10 miles from here I don't go into as often and I found lots of cool stuff so let's zoom you out a little bit because these pages are a bit bigger in fact let's do the closer up things first of all I found a pack of glitter gel pens obviously a pound and they're all really nice colours and they work really well so yay for that always need the glitter gel pens a gold Posca. Ooh, that's a good idea. I just don't want anything that goes through, though. I have gold Sharpie, but that's going to go through, isn't it? Um, and just general gold gel pens, but they're not as gold as I'd like them to be. So, speaking of gold. Also, this pack of gold and silver glitter gel pens. So, yeah, you never have too much sparkle, can you? Because there's not a gold or silver in this set. And you have black, and I love my black gel pens love my black in fact this black gel pen is nearly all gone i used up pretty much an entire black gel pen on my atcs for 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 janet the outside of my stamps oh i didn't grab one of those i have a couple left i have my prototype one that went completely not as i wanted it to and another one i will grab them later to show you if anybody wants to see and hasn't seen janet's recording um but when Janet puts her recording over on YouTube, I'll try and link the recording that anybody wants to see. Because I stupidly sent Janet all of them before I took pictures, and they were all different colour mice. Uh, mice? Rats. So I only have two variations myself. So yeah, there's loads of different colour rats, and she showed quite a few of them. And then I found, look, see, see the see the theme glitter tubes and i just love the color of this and what you're seeing on your screen is actually really really true to life but what i'm seeing on my screen anyway for once apart from this one this one's more of a pinky purple rather than the blue that it's showing up but this is remember my banner my banner's now finished that we were doing my watercolor galaxy it's over there um i can grab that later too um i just need to put the glitter on so I thought black glitter for the rats. There we go, nice black glitter. And then I've got some white glitter, which is slightly different to this. This is, like I showed you before, this is like pure white. And this has got like some iridescent and multicolour flecks in it too. So they're different. And I thought this pink, this pink is amazing. I thought but maybe put some of that on it too. So I think it's going to have that on it somewhere. So yeah, that's my that's my last task for that banner, and then it will be uploaded, and it will be up there 
on Ustream and YouTube. Yay! Obviously, a pound. Eight packs of glitter for a pound. This is the Easter range, obviously. Little sheep and little chick on it. Happy Easter. So I may well just have to go back and get some more of these if these are nice to nice to use. Favourite gel pens are Tech Writers, 100 for about 30 or 40 on Amazon. I'll have to look at those. I do have loads of, well, my gel pens are all here and there. These are the set that I fell in love with a while ago. They're very depleted because they're all around the room and in different pencil cases and things now. And what's that? Well, that's a pencil. That's a paintbrush. It doesn't go in there. Good oh. Um, yeah, and these are B&M. Any Brits? Two ninety nine for... How many is there? 32. And I love these. These write in colour so, so nicely and smoothly. Um, and I had, they, there's pearls in there, there's pastels, there's normals and neons. Um, and metallics. Um, what am I missing in there? All my glitters. All my glitters are elsewhere and mostly used up, which is why I was glad to find those to replace them. And my black's long gone. But yeah, anybody in the UK looking for some cheap gel pens that actually work nicely and write nicely, these from B&M, I highly recommend. Highly recommend, especially £3 for 32 pens. You can't go wrong, really, can you? So yeah, they're my go-to. I was say, I use them for different things. I just for highlights here and there, and they're all around the room now. And found themselves into various pots and pencil cases and oh here's one here see that found its way into the pot okay and um, Suzanne's linked there for anybody for the um for the amazon.com version of tech writers if anybody not in the chat is looking for them it's tech as in t-e-k writers if you want to have a look on um, Amazon for them. I certainly will be after the stream. Guess what day it is tomorrow? Payday. <laughs> there are a lot of cheap gel pens out there that work, Ralph Suzanne. You're right, but there are equally a lot of cheap gel pens out there that are rubbish. That <laughs> don't do what they should. Um, so, yeah. And I have lots. Well, I give them to Alfie when they don't work well. But the thing is, he's spoiled. He's allowed to use all my things, so he, he won't use them either. He's like, no, they don't work. They're broken. Where's your other ones? So, yeah, he's a spoiled child. He's allowed to use Prismas and Marcos and all sorts. Apart from the little monkey. I found him last week. He'd been using the Marco Refines, my ones. I got them in a long wrap. And he'd been using them to colour something. I don't know what he was colouring. Something. Or was he drawing? But anyway, he'd been allowed them out. And I heard him giggling manically. And I look over. The little git's taking them out, like, two out at a time. And swapping the colours. Because I've got them all in colour order and number order in the wrap. And the little monster was delighting in taking them out and swapping all the order around. Monster. Hi, Anna Maria. So yes, he thinks he's hilarious. <laughs> right, the next thing, again, Powland still. And I was so surprised. Usually you get like really cheap, flimsy colour books in Poundland. A bit like this one. This is a Poundland one that I bought for, um, just to cut up to journal. And it's really like poorly printed and thin paper. But obviously you can scan it and reprint it if you want it better. But I thought just for colour books, you know, this one, this is an old one that I bought ages ago that's been sat here. But just for journaling purposes and things, you know, I thought these butterflies would go in a journal page and what have you. But anyway, so I was looking. I thought, oh, I'll just have a look. You know, colour books, you have to have a look. Um, after lunch. Excuse me one moment. Oh my gosh. What are you? Piece of paper. What are you? Some cards. Oh gosh. One moment, please. Best band in the world, anybody? Yeah, 
seriously best band in the world <laughs> where shall i put you let's put you there you need to go into my car at some point right i think we've stopped the craft lunch hi third terry good morning well, good afternoon here rather um, so yeah, so I was looking, I came across this, and this, for a start, it's a really, really thick book, which you don't usually get, and it's called Under the Sea, Colouring for Mildness by Med, Med, Mesdem Zuck, my, my French sucks, but yeah, them, Mesdem Zuck, something like that, anyway, so I looked through it, let's make sure my camera's all the way out, or you're not going to see all of it, we see more craft lunch no i've cleaned it away um let's move that one from underneath the mix that's for in a minute oh, have i got enough room to show you just about just about do you grow out anymore you do brilliant i can zoom in on bits when you need to but well, doris is trying the um front door now no doris you can't come in no room for you here so yeah and i started to flip through it and oh my gosh this book is amazing especially for a pound i have to have it um so for start the inside cover gosh, my camera's not going to be high enough to show you um flips out you've got a big picture the but it says 8.99 there it should be 8.99 obviously for a pound and the back cover does the same and the pictures are so so funny oh there we go it tells you a bit about the artist there Ms. Menzel's is a duo of illustrators oh i'm not going to butcher their names rest them um they're french put it away this way they're french and they live and work in paris and they now weave a wonderful world full of humorous playful stylish and quirky images which is so me i mean just look at that one look it's a seashell with legs seashell with legs i thought it was hilarious i had to have it and this paper is lovely lovely thick paper really nice thick i don't know if you can hear that but thick paper Look at the octopuses with their eyelashes and their lips. I can zoom in if um, if anybody wants to see anything more closely. But they're most of the, they're in fact they're all double page spreads. Excuse my crap lighting too. Yes, Miss Romatica. Yeah, it is a proper colouring book. And so is the other one that I got, and they had loads more. So I'm going to go back. But I'll show you in a minute because I found the other one that I got, which I'll show you in a moment. I've been looking at them and their counterparts on Amazon, and they were like five, six pounds or something. And I got it for a pound, obviously. So, yeah, look, look, there's a frog. And in the back, there's like thumbnails, and all these pictures are named. So, they, they've like named the pictures. What's this one called? Bubbling Up. And she's got like a pipe or a something she shouldn't be smoking there by the looks of it it's called bubbling up i thought it was hilarious so yeah there's that one and then this one what's this one called i should have made a list first oh wow i didn't see him on the back look cat made <laughs> cat made um what's this one called the young ladies of the gulf stream and these i don't know if you can see it there but these jellyfish have got lips and this one we've got some dapper seahorses and they've got hats what's that called seahorse tree not quite sure about that one that one they've got some fish in a jar what do they call that one in quarantine <laughs> Oh, I just thought it was hilarious though. And the thick paper. This one is some sort of fish playing a trumpet, trombone. What's it called? 
trumpet fish this does as it says on the tin i guess and say so these are like 12 by 12 so i'm struggling to fit it in here because it's it's like anamorphia size and thickness this one which i like with the little little tails there and what's it called sunbathing <laughs> so the mermaids are up the top sunbathing sunbathing that one what are they doing it looks like they've got jockey hats on dressage no it's seahorses sea ponies doing dressage you know little hats <laughs> seahorses doing dressage that one is i don't know what they're doing there but, oh, i wish i could sort this light out this light is doing my head in but oh it's winter and i can't move my desk anywhere uh, does that help probably not does that help no that makes it worse here doesn't it Let's try that does that help the name of this is under the sea there you go if i hold it there you can see it And they only have this one in Poundland too. If I go back next week and they've got some more, then I will grab some and use them for giveaways or ship them to anybody that wants them. Although I am queen of the BAM, Bad at Mailing Society. Jeans for president, I'm the queen. We don't have presidents over here, we have queens. don't know if this light's made any difference, but let's, let's try it. And this is like a city. I've been taking my finger out with the names of the pages now, haven't I? Some of the names are hilarious though. Some aren't so funny. Oh, that one's called Diamonds Are Forever, the one that I just skipped. This is called Skyscrapers. That one's not hilarious or... But hey, it'd still be a cool one to do. This one, I liked him. He was the first one I saw and I liked him. It's called King of the Fish. King of the Fish, and I liked him, I liked his moustache, and I liked his crown and his monocle. Mm. Yeah. Is this light helping? Or is it hindering? I don't know if I've made the light better for you guys or worse. Um, this one is... I don't know what she's doing, but her tail, that's a mermaid look, and her tail's in a... I haven't broken the spine yet, because I haven't worked in it. When I work, start working it, I will oh mermaid bathing <laughs> she's in the bath head first yeah you ordered it suzanne cool it is a good book it's a good book i don't know what this one's about octopus play school octopus play school lots of baby octopuses or is it octopi baby octopi this one I love with all the shells with the legs. The background I'm not sure about though. I think the background would probably drive me bonkers trying to do that. What's this one called? Oh, kaleidoscope. That's why the background's like it then. But yeah, all the shells have like ladies' legs. And there's a few like that. This one is... I'm not sure, but it's some of those manta ray fish, and it's called, oh, it's called rays. It's called rays. I mean, some of the pages are fantastically named, and some of them not quite so. Again, it needs a, it will need the spine breaking to work in it, otherwise it's going to drive you bonkers. Yeah, she was washing her hair, Jess, and her head. This one, this one's called the abominable seaman <laughs> this one really tickled me the abom abominable seaman so yeah i like that one this one this one again you've got the shells look at the legs underwater boudoir you've got them on their shells and there's one over here 
I'm not sure what all these little handy things are. Were they supposed to be weeds or hands or? I'm not sure about that. What else do we have? That one which is called Happy Days. Lots of turtles. Lots of turtles. Let's try to turn this light off because this is blinding me now. But I don't think it's actually adding anything for you guys. I don't know. That's how it's going to have to stay and I'm going to have to go with it. Because that one, to have it there... It wasn't adding a lot. Well, it wasn't adding a lot on my screen and it was blinding me. Oh, I can't see. Can't see. Never look directly into a lamp, people. And then we have that one. I think they're kissy fish, aren't they? Are they kissing baramis, kissy fish. What's it called? Idyll. Idyll. It'll they look like they're kissing or they want to be kissing. Um, what's next? That one's called traffic. <laughs> it looks like little roads and you can see the traffic jams. Traffic jams of all the fish and little bridge and these are basically like this runs all water worlds. It'd be interesting to see what Dee Dee would do with something like this, making worlds. Better colour without the light. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, roll on summer and then I can have natural daylight. And um, yeah. This one is, oh, they're puffer fish, aren't they? What's it called? Sorry, it's a bit annoying to keep going backwards and forwards, isn't it? But they some of them, zeppelins. It's called zeppelins. Oh, look, that one's turned into like an air balloon. Oh, in fact, they're all turned into an air balloon, duh. But yeah, puffer fish turned into air balloons. Oh, that's hilarious. What's that one? Oh, there's another, like, cubic abstract one. What's that called? The Pillars of Atlantis. The pillars, I don't know if they're supposed to, but they're often they look like fishes with fishy mouths to me. And then the, then the scales and there's, like, pyramids and upside-down pyramid. I don't know. Hi Shells! Hi Christy! This one again is like fish with cute hairdos. Look, they're all the fish have got hair. Oh, it's called fishy hairdos. That makes sense. But yeah, fish with hair. There's a curly jess haired fish. There's a long, long haired fish. There's a fluffy jean haired fish. That one is this one spider knitting. So he's a spider, a spider crab, I guess, because he's got claws. And he's got this sort of knitting needles look. And it looks like he's knitting. Whatever this is, he's knitted it. So yeah, the spider crab is doing knitting. Suzanne's found one for 41 cents and 3 99 shipping. Only cover is slightly worn, no colouring inside. That's cool. Say so this was the only one in that pound land and I went to another pound land since then and I did look and they had none. Not even any of the others, so... That one is a giant eel in and out one of the doors. What's that called? The eel house. This one I like with all the little octopuses with their octopuses, octopi. I don't think we decided whether they were octopuses or octopi, did we? If there's plural. No octopuses, I think, in my land. And this one's called... Oh, this one hasn't got a name. Oh, Parade. Well, I missed one then. That one's called Parade, but I missed one. Oh, there it is. This one is called The Narcissistic Squid. I love this one. I thought it was awesome. The Narcissistic Squid. Look, he's got... I presume it's a he. He hasn't got the big lips. He's got all these little mirrors in every one of his tentacles. He's got a little hand mirror looking at himself. 
the narcissistic squid. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm easily amused. Easily amused me. So yeah, we did the parade because we skipped Mr. Squiddy. Catfish. Look, he's a fishy and he's wearing a cat mask. Catfish. It's probably what it's called too, isn't it? Catfish. Yes, catfish. And you have fashion shells. And I like this because they've got like high heels on and stripy. This is very Parisian, very Moulin Rouge, it reminds me of. Although they're shells with the legs, but the legs, you know, the with the tights and the stockings and things, very, very Moulin Rouge. And the shells, they kind of remind me of some of the feathers they wear and things. Hi, Ange. Are you being sneaky, sneaky from work? If so, put me on loudspeaker. Let me speak to the troll. Go on. Go on. I dare you. I double dare you. <laughs> this one is, whoa, very confusing. Um, um, little and large. Oh, I see. So he's a big fish, but he's actually full of, made up by like lots of little fish. And then there's lots of little fish over here. Some of these pictures are really quite trippy. Some of these pictures are strange. Oh, here we go. Look, we have a eel. I guess they're eels because they're really long. Yeah, you know, with a top hat and a monocle. Her with a little flower in her hair and um, her lips. Big lips. What's this called then? Um, what's this called? The Sea Serpent's Engagement Party. Well, where's the ring then? And where do you put a ring on a sea serpent? No shiny shinies for her. She's got no fingers. Yes, one. Oh, wow, look, they're playing poker. It's probably called something to do with poker, isn't it? Yeah, it's called poker. Yeah, they've got their their cards and the octopus suckers that look a bit like chips from my limited limited knowledge of um, poker. Hi, Vicky. Hi, CB. How dare you forget me? <laughs> to be fair, I wasn't on last week, so I'll let you off. I was in a muddy football pitch last week. Deep joy. You see my enthusiasm for football. Especially when I'm given orders constantly and every time I kick the ball, that doesn't count. You didn't score. I never win. I'm just sharing my Poundland um, haul. My little treasure trove. The minute we're in Under the Sea. But it's a really good, nice book. It's even got foiling on the cover, look. Nice and thick. and We're like three quarters of the way through that. And then we've got another book and then we'll do something. We'll do something. I don't know what, but we'll do something. If you can hear any noise, then um, that's Storm Doris trying to come through the window. And through the door and bring all the outside bushes in with it and probably next door's fence. I haven't actually dared look out the window to see if next door's fence is still there. It's not been repaired since the last time, actually, I don't think. Luckily, they only have cats and not dogs, so the cats are free range anyway. Yeah, this is this is under the sea. Under the sea. No, I'm not going to shut you to my little mermaid singing. This one, I like this one too. I want to say I, I like all of them. I'm easily pleased. Super easily pleased. What's this one called? Mr. and Mrs. Anemone. <laughs> the man with his big nose and his moustache. And then lady with the, the wild hair. And her long hair and his short hair. Yeah, easily pleased. I love these anemone things in real ones. 
Hi, Judy Bum. But yeah, when we go to the Sea Life Centre, we've been a few times to They have a rock pool where you can touch and you can stroke these gently and they feel amazing. Although if you stroke them too much, they don't want you to stroke them. They just all, they go and close up and go away from you. Rude. Wish I could do that though sometimes. Dorky but cute. Me or the books, EB? <laughs> this one is about... No, oh, I don't actually know. These look like eyes to me, but how are their eyes on a bush? Oh, it's called sea eyes. Okay, so it's just loads of random eyes on some coral or something. Okay, I need to speed up really, don't I? Yeah, Frisma colours have Parma Violet. I love that colour too. I hate the sweets, love the pencil. And then this one, that's a peeping fish. Ooh, what's he called? You're probably getting all rather bored now. I need to speed up, don't I? Um, hide and seek. Big fish hiding, little fish hiding. Hide and seek. And this one is... Oh, it looks like crabs with shells, like they're fans. What's it called? Fan dance. Fan dance. So there's shells with the fans doing like a fan dance. Again, Moulin Rouge springs to mind. I'm really sorry about the really rubbish lighting, guys. So the storm really isn't helping things. Put me on loudspeaker, Ange. I'll be very nice to them, I promise. <laughs> Do you even have volume? Does Angie have volume on anybody? Can she hear me? <laughs> or is she just watching? And this one. Oh, they've got little top hats. Flying fish. Oh, and they've got wings. And you can, because that's quite small. Fish with top hats and wings. Speed up a bit. Oh, he's got a walking cane and a hat. Probably should look what they're called first before I start describing them, shouldn't I? That probably cut the time down a bit. Um, oh, we're on the last. We're on the home stretch. Heads or tails? Yeah. So you've got all the heads here, and all the tails are coming out here. But how the hell does his? He must be an eel, mustn't he? If his tail goes all the way round to there. Oh, so you can hear me, Anne. That's good. Just unplug them by accident. Go on. Go on. I dare you. I double dare you. <laughs> this one I love, 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 love. These might be my first ones. In fact, we might even have to do these today. This is called Mermaids and Maid Mers. So there's the mermaids. And these are Maid Mers. So we have our classic mermaids. And then these with fishy tops and legs. I love this one. I am so easily pleased. Love these. And then nearly at the end we have a mahusive eely thing that winds around the whole of the page. That would be interesting, especially if you're blending like from night to dark or something, trying to work out where he goes next. What's he called? Nautical knots. No, oh, that figures. And then these are, oh, there's a sheepy, a sheepy, a sleepy whale. Whale dreams. Whale dreams. He's on his pillow, sleeping. Looks a bit like me. If anybody wants to know what I look like, this is it here. Yeah. Stick some pink hair on top and some black. and That's me. That's me. Yeah, there is lots of top hats. Lots of top hats. Again, it's they, they're they in Paris, so I guess a lot of it to me says Moulin Rouge. So whether that was their inspiration, I'm not sure. But and Moulin Rouge is awesome. I love the Moulin Rouge. This one. Oh, they've got bows and he's got a pipe. Very dapper fish again. Oh, suitcase. What's this one called? 
social outing. They're going on a social outing. Very proper fish going on a social outing with their pipe and her with her bow. Looks kind of like, to me, like wearing a bonnet. You know, one of the old lace bonnets with the bow underneath. We're twins, CB. How are we twins? Quads? Triplets? Can we just shout out random terms here? <laughs> oh, the... Um... Oh, I see. We're twins. You look like this too. Yes. Yeah. Even got my massive mouth look. Yeah, it's uncanny, the likeness. Really is. And nearly at the last one, this is a giant mess. Um, oh, it's a construction. This is the last one, yeah. A construction site. So you've got anemones and things that have got little ladders and they're uh, building things. Again, lots of intricate things and lots of not so intricate things. Something for everybody in here. And again, this is where I've been reading all the all the names from. So yeah, you can test colours, test mediums, and and things. And you can probably see where things are better because obviously you don't have the middle of the book. But I will break when I start working in it. I will have to break the spine because it will do my do my head in. Otherwise, not be able to see. Oh, yeah. Again, I showed this at the beginning. The back covers fold out the same as the front. And then there's a cat made. Cat made. So, yeah. So, nearly there with the show and tell. I spend too long doing the show and tell because I get so involved in the books and chat. And the next book, I was looking at these design original books on, excuse the, excuse the glare, on Amazon, as it would happen a couple of days before, I was looking at, they do all different ones, I was looking at the Dapper Animals, and they did have that one, in fact they had all of these and many more, but I was restrained because money is not, not too forthcoming in the middle of the month, so, um, I was restrained and only spent, I spent £5 I think I allowed myself in, in Poundland. I will go back, they have loads of these and it turns out these are like £5 something still new on Amazon right now. But obviously, they are the dead skulls. I had to have this. Had to have this. So I got this one. And it's actually a really cool book and I will be going back to get some of the others. Um, and in it, it's got all sorts of how to personalise your art and doodles. Let's see if I can zoom in a tiny bit. I know my camera doesn't focus amazingly. Um, yeah, and again with the with the glare because it's a shiny. These pages, the the colouring pages aren't, but these pages are glossy. Um, it shows you how to like embellish simple things so you like start off with a circle like that and you can put a face in it and put all different things and how to do different patterns techniques to um embellish like mandela mandala mandela however you say it shapes um how to embellish lines this makes you think of janet a bit janet teaches us all this good stuff doesn't she um, again, other decorative lines and shapes that you can do, and how you can how you can put them all together and embellish and keep going and step by step type thing. Coloring techniques showing you, you know, advocating marker. I'm not on camera. Yeah, this was a pound two pound band marker and color pencil. Um, how to do that, markers and gel pens, how to do different shading techniques, so it's really cool. Some colour theory, which I always need, my colour theory is shocking, um, and all different colours, it shows you here like warm colour, this butterfly is an example, warm colours, cool colours, um, tints, 
split complementary colours, complementary colours, and analogous colours. I'm not sure what they are. Okay. And that's what's on pages of the book. Zoom in back a little bit. Already coloured in and like with the colour palette they used. And there's quite a few of those. And again, they can either be left in there or they can be cut out and used, used for inspiration or used in other things. So there's lots of lots of those. And again, these it's like I say you can see by the glare, these are all glossy. And then you get to the book and you've got the actual pages. It's all one sided, which is good. So you can use any medium you want. The paper's quite thick. It's not as thick as the last book, but it's not stupidly thin. Um, some of the pictures are black and some are more grey. So I'm wondering maybe that's why they're in pound line. Either they're supposed to be grey. You see that one? I'm not sure if you can see the difference on the camera. But um, maybe they're misprints or something. But they're still perfectly workable. You know, if you want them black, you go over with black. But it doesn't bother me. Or whether they're supposed to be like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so these are all skulls. This probably is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But this this is very me. Very me. Need my skulls. So yeah, click through that. And then look, Ange, on the back. Well, you won't be able to look because it's stupidly light. It's got quotes on the back of every page. This one says, be in love with your life every minute of it. And you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Is Anne still here even, or has she been chased off by the nasty trolls? And that one, let's go on a bike. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. James Dean. Oh, so they're famous quotes. Oh, and it's perforated. I didn't see that. It's perforated, so you can take it out easily. Didn't see that. Chase lizards? Who's chasing lizards? Anna Maria is chasing lizards. Were you chasing them or the dog, Anna Maria? That's the important detail here. If it was you, I'm a bit worried. If it's the dog, good for him. That one, I love that one. I love that one. You were born a child of light's wonderful secret. You return to the beauty you've always been. I'm not really a huge quote person, apart from sarcastic quotes, yeah. Normal quotes, not so much. What the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. The most important thing to enjoy is to enjoy your life, to be happy, it's all that matters. Audrey Hepburn. I like her. Audrey Hepburn's cool. Yeah, if I speed up and start reading the quotes, <laughs> then we can do something. So yeah, that's a good one. Life is a great big canvas and you should throw all the paint on it you can. I agree with that. Stupid fingers. That one, again, flip through it a bit quicker. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea. Um, and now, let's go. And actually, this is probably what I was going to colour in last week for... Um, Valentine's Day, you know, what says I love you more than a skull, a dead person. That's my type of Valentine's Day. That one. Let's read up a bit. Hey, Day of the Dead Kitty. I like him. He's really cute. Really cute. That one. Some of these quotes are really twee and this is a quote from the circle of life by elton john of course i can't read that because everybody knows if it's the lion king you have to sing the songs i don't want to break your ears yeah, well, you know what i'm saying these are very very samey but i like samey because i like skulls they're a bit quicker for you guys that one I would rather die of passion than of boredom. Vincent van Gogh. Too true. And skulls, skulls, skulls. Skulls, skulls, skulls. Oh, look, another skull. Oh, look, another skull. Oh, look, a tree of skulls. 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 Dancing skulls. 
Gray for the skull. If you cannot get rid of the family skeleton, you may as well make it dance. Alrighty then. Let's go over the flower. Some more pictures. And then we're at the end. So I like that one. Obviously not to everybody's taste. But, 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 but. I like it. So yeah, that was my haul. So I think I'm going to stop this recording. Oh, after lunch. I didn't move or breathe, you know, guys. And um, we'll start a new one. How long do we have left? Oh, ages. Ages left. Well, I'm going to end this one. So thank you for watching if you've been watching on YouTube or Ustream. And there'll be another part in a moment where we actually do something creative.